very splendid little book with a nice surprise associated with it. Uh, it's the works, or the poetry, poetical works of Holly. It's in a nice grained uh, red morocco binding, smooth spine, gilt ruled into compartments with little star gilt devices. The covers are outline ruled in gilt. The turn-ins here have a very pleasing uh, running pattern. There's nice uh, marbled end papers there. Uh, the title of the work is The Triumphs of Temper, a poem in six cantos by William Haley. It's London, 1801, but it has 18th century engravings by Cadell um, of London. And so there's that engraving there. All edges are gilt to the book. There's another fantastic engraving there. And here is one. Looks very much like Samuel Johnson. And uh, here is one right here. It's very, very nice uh, engravings. Here's one. And there is one. Oh, that's nice, like a dance, a spring dance. Let me see here. And then we've got this engraving right there. And uh, here is the beautiful surprise on the book that if we lay it down like so and turn it upright like this and we lay the covers down and we take the text block and we start to fan it forward like this while pushing it together, what we see here is a panoramic view of the coastal English town Dawlish. And we see sailing ships and the buildings and the water and so on like that. And so this is a four-edge painting which uh, appears to be quite old. Many times paintings uh, like this uh, on four edges are done recently. However, there is a very early annotation here about it having a four-edge painting with it being a view of Dawlish. Uh, and so this inscription down here uh, and this signature here um, would lead me to believe this uh, four-edge painting is a minimum of 50 to 75 years old, and it may well be much older than that. And so this beautiful and unique book is now available online from me, Brian DeMambro.